Speaking, Senator Olure Metinibu emphasized the need for women to play an active role in the development of the nation and in addressing societal challenges. She expressed pride in the significant number of women involved in policing and securing the country, highlighting the current administration's commitment to including women in the nation's development. So with the crop of women in the team of Mr. President, uh, you know, I don't think this will, this, the, this will be the end for women. I think it's just a beginning of a new dawn for us and uh, for us and for uh, gender to be respected and given the, you know, a very healthy playing field to be able to contribute her quota to society. Mrs. Tinibu urged the minister to utilize her office to combat issues such as human trafficking, organ harvesting, and baby factories, which are prevalent illicit activities in the country. She emphasized the importance of empowering women to take the lead in addressing societal ills and crimes while creating a safe environment for their growth and development. The president's wife also expressed her hope for more women to occupy high-ranking positions, including the inspector general of police. Earlier, the minister commended the president's wife for her unwavering advocacy and efforts in advancing the interests of women in the country. She acknowledged the dedication of the police officers in establishing a benchmark for excellence. Consistent with the renewed hope agenda of, this, of His Excellency President Bola Metinubu, GCFR, we are working assiduously to move beyond mere conversations to equipping the Nigerian police force with gender responsive frameworks in its operational structure and command mechanism. Ms. Suleiman Ibrahim stated that gender equality, safeguarding human rights, and empowering women are essential aspects of a just and fair society. Appointed by President Bola Tinubu, Ms. Suleiman Ibrahim is the first female Minister of State for Police Affairs in the country. Juliet Dengiwa, ITV News.